Are we live? Cool. Morning, guys. Uh, just had a nice large delivery of amps coming from uh, California. A uh, big old shipment of two rock amps and also some nice bits and pieces here from Tone King and, and uh, why Tommy's here. Friedman. Friedman. So why don't you, why don't you uh, tell them what's in this, this box, Tom? This box is the brand new JJ Jr. or Double J Jr. Get it right. <laughs> which is the um, Jerry Cantrell head. Obviously, they did the Double J 100, yep. which is 100 watt version. This is the 20 watt version, which I'm super excited by, which is why I have this knife. I'm ready to open this box. Oh my god, That's, that sounds a bit, a bit so weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tuck in. Go for it. So we've got stock of the heads coming as well. So this is the little combo. We've got the extension cab as well. I understand that all these, uh, I think we've got some stock available to order, but talking to, uh, to Dennis at Friedman, pretty much everything's sold out from them until September now. So we're gonna be in pretty short supply. Look at that, one-handed. I shan't be going one-handed with the amp that I'm going to be getting out in a minute. Just a bit on the front there as well. Too much tape on it. There we go. We'll get her in a minute. It's okay. There Beautiful. we go. One Double J Junior combo. What's the speaker in there, Tom? Speaker in that is a cream back. Yeah, Celestian cream back. Pop it on the side there so we can get a... Pop it on here. So we can get yeah. a little close up. Celestian cream back in the back. Controls on the top there. So that's 20 watts. So it's 20 watts. Um, it's two channel. Um, so you've got the clean channel, which is sort of Vox AC30-ish, um, bright switch on the clean channel with just a single clean volume on that one. Um, on the gain channel, you've obviously got the gain, bass, middle, treble, your master volume, your presence, and then it's got the JBE switch as well, um, which is basically a slightly more saturated sound on the gain channel. It's that control tone. Um, there's also a load built into these, which is super exciting um, for recording. You don't need to have a speaker cab connected to it. And then you've got the emulated line out as well, based on Mike No Mo. Mike No Mo. Mike No Mo. Um, which sounds really good. It's an yeah. accurate representation of a speaker cab. Cool. So nice effects loop and everything yeah, all super on there. Transparent yeah. effects loop, yeah. as yeah. with all Friedman's. Cool. Um, single button foot switch for the channel changing. It's just a killer little amp. Yeah. So You're out excited. of breath, Tom. I am. He's so excited. He's out of breath. Right. Well, I'm going to be out of breath now <laughs> when I pick this beast up. <laughs> so this this is an amp that uh, we first saw at the, uh, at the NAMM show in January. So this is the Two Rock Silver Sterling Signature, or SSS. And obviously it's heavily inspired by the, the Dumble Steel String Singer, which uh, obviously Stevie Ray, Mayer, and a lot of, the, a lot of those guys used. They want that real mega high headroom, big, huge strap tone. And uh, we've got both versions in stock. They do the uh, 6550 loaded version, or 6550, whatever you want to call it, which is 150 watts, and also switches down to 75. And we've also got the 100 watt version, which has got six L6s in it, which switches down to 50. So here we go. The moment of truth. I'll move that JJ and I'll pop it on there. Let's open up the bag. So this is sort of other end of the scale in terms yeah. of watts. <laughs> so this is an amp that is definitely probably not, not usable at home, but why not? There it is, silver sterling signature. So we're gonna get all this stuff plugged in later. So this is, uh, what have we got here? We've got an FET boost on there, uh, two knob reverb. You've got these, I think these are seven position high cut and low cut switches there. Plus you've got the traditional EQ1 and 2 from Two Rocks, bright, mid and deep switches as well. I can't wait to plug this in. <laughs> so we've also got the, the matching cab here as well. Why don't we unbox That's, that? That sway is really nice as well, yeah. isn't it? It's something you yeah. don't see on a lot of amps. It was nice to do something, you know, they wanted to do something kind of just a little bit different from standard rather than just putting it out as a regular black Tolex. And then yeah. a two button foot switch on that one as well, isn't it? Yeah. So, 
That's for the the FET boost and the um, channel change. Yeah. Right, EQ bypass. Yeah. Right, where's the handles on this yeah, one? This, this is a uh, horizontal cab. We... Let's slide her out. There we go. There we go. <coughs> if you want to give that one a, there we go. a pull. That's got to be the, the dream rig right there. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Maybe I should. Um, maybe I should plug this thing into it later. <laughs> what do we? What do we reckon? <laughs> we can plug this in later. Any excuse. <laughs> Any excuse to get this out. I like getting this guitar out out of its cardboard box as well because. It means Toby's got to put it back in. <laughs> I like to leave it out, but Toby keeps putting it away. Oh, what's inside? What's in the box? Right, and that will do the trick through here. Oh, I'm going around the wrong way. I think that'll work through there, what do you think? I think that might... Uh, now that's a glamour shot and a half. Right. <laughs> nice. All right, well, I reckon we can make that happen. So, yeah, we're gonna get all this stuff up on the website shortly, get all the, uh, the photos done, and we'll get a few uh, clips of this beast done at some point as well, so. Have a bit of fun this afternoon. <laughs> exactly. You'll all need your earplugs, even if you're listening in Australia, you'll be able to hear it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.